So these are the um, fifth and final checkpoint instructions for our fifth case study, and this one is on Patty Hurst. Um, so again, you've got your notes, the background information here, both the uh, recorded video PowerPoint as well as the printout of the PowerPoint slides. Um, for the focus note page, you will have the um, documentary um, on Patty Hurst and um, her um, background. The essential questions you're going to try to answer based upon um, this watching this video and accumulating notes on it is when why did she do uh, why did she do this? What was um, the psychological rationale for her um, committing the crimes that she was convicted of doing? Was she considered sane or insane? Um, does she have some kind of personality disorder? Is there evidence there to suggest that she may be suffering from a personality disorder, or was there? something else. Um, and remember, personality disorder could be any one of the variants that we have way back, you know. And, and again, I encourage you to, to look back at the notes on personality disorders, the lecture, etc., um, to make that determination. Finally, you'll do your reflection, very similar to the last, um, in terms of trying to provide evidence for and your rationale to say she was either competent or incompetent, sane or insane. What was the motive for her committing the crimes? Was there a signature um, that was left at the crime? And um, did she qualify to have an antisocial um, personality disorder? Um, and then finally, of course, submit the feedback.